In this video, we take a look at macOS 11.3 and it is chock full of features, including the ability to have a HomePod stereo pair as your default sound output. Check it out. In previous versions of macOS, iOS apps running on M1 Apple Silicon Macs lacked a dedicated preference panel in the menu bar. Instead, all you had was touch alternatives. And Touch Alternatives basically makes it so that you can interact with some of those apps using simulated touch input. And when you enable Touch Alternatives, it was all or nothing. But in 11.3 Beta 1, you now have a dedicated preferences section in the menu bar. And when you open that up, there you go, you get Touch Alternatives. So this is the first module, so to speak, that you'll find in preferences for iOS apps running on Apple Silicon. But notice you can actually granularly that's not a word, is it? Anyway, you can see you can enable each different touch alternative one by one. So if you only need multi-touch gestures or you only need to drag, you can enable just that one thing. I just enabled swipe here and that basically allows me to simulate a swipe using my arrow keys on my keyboard just like this. Looking forward to see what other preferences we get in the future. Now you'll also notice larger iPad apps running on Apple Silicon. So here is HBO Max running on 11.2 and here is the same app running on 11.3 beta 1 you could see a larger window and this is really nice because you can't manually resize these windows for ios apps running on apple silicon especially handy for video apps like hbo max and finally in 11.3 you now have an option to use stereo paired home pods as your default global output option now of course you could already output to a stereo pair using the music app in previous versions of Mac OS. You can see my HomePod minis right there. I could enable those in output via the music app directly to that stereo pair. But here's what you could not do. In previous versions of Mac OS, you didn't have that option to output globally as a default to that stereo pair. You see how they're all still listed as individual HomePods, even though they are paired in all actuality. But here in 11.3 beta one, notice what you have. Look at that. You get the stereo pair. Now granted, it's still showing the glyphs for the full-size HomePods when actually this is the HomePod mini stereo pair. But nonetheless, you can output globally as a default to your stereo paired HomePod. Such a nice improvement in 11.3 Beta 1. Now just like you had in iOS 14.5, you get the new Made For You section within the music app. And that basically pulls in all the made for you content that you have saved to your library. So you can see your favorites mix in your new music mix. These are easily accessible thanks to this new made for you section within the music app. And of course you can always go to listen now and find those as well, just like that. So side note, I'm kind of curious, do you use made for you? Do you find that it does a good job of creating mixes that you like? Let me know down below in the comments and you get a redesigned Apple News Plus section within the News app. And what Apple's done here is just basically simplified everything. So now you have a My Magazine section with all your reading now. You have your downloaded section for, for magazines that are on your device. You have a newspaper section, and then you have your catalog, which contains all the various genres of magazines and periodicals. And you can specify the exact category that you're looking for. So it's just a cleaner interface, a little bit easier to use in my opinion and you get updated reminders app options for sorting. So of course you can sort manually by due date, creation date, priority, or title. But the nice thing is now you can actually sort by ascending or descending, just like that. And of course that, that wording changes based on what you sort by. So priority is gonna be lowest first, highest first, creation date is going to be oldest first, newest first, and due date is going to be earliest first and latest first. But you can also right click on the list right from within the uh, reminders app here and sort by there as well. So just a nice way to do that without having to venture up to the menu bar if you wanna sort directly from the app itself. And that includes, of course, being able to adjust the ascending or descending value if you wanna do that. What do you guys think about reminders overall? Do you use it to stay organized? Let me know down below in the comment section. And just like in the most recent iOS beta update, next-gen controller support for the PS5 and Xbox Series X controllers is now available on the Mac in 11.3 beta. 
And this is not only beneficial for Apple Arcade games, of course, but also should be ideal when controlling games when streamed to the Mac from these consoles. And yeah, I still haven't been able to get my hands on either, and I refuse to pay scalper prices. Any Switch gamers in the house, let me know down below. So in macOS Big Sur, you got that new option in Safari to go in and customize your start page. Whenever you open up a new window, you can customize by favorites, fre frequently visited, privacy reports, series suggestions, reading lists, iCloud tabs, background image. You can go in and enable and disable whatever you like. I especially like the ability to add that cool, awesome background image. And of course you have some canned images there, but you can also add your own. And I'm just gonna select one of these right there right here just like that so keep this in mind the customization aspect now notice what's coming in mac os 11.3 soon you will be able to customize and override the new window and new tab with extensions so as we noted nine to five mac has found out that the default mac os web browser will have the option to override a new window or tab page with extensions and this code will allow users to change the default pages of a new window or new tab but these extensions are not yet available, but I imagine that they will be available right here when you click the little settings button in the bottom right hand corner, adding those extensions and further customizing the start page experience. Now you'll also find, which is coming soon, a new support menu that sort of mimics what you have already on the iPhone and settings general about, where you can go in and find out about your warranty, whether you have Apple Care or limited warranty. Uh, of course, on the current support page, you have some of that. You can show your service and repair options, tell you more about Apple Care, check your support status, but you have to actually take action. Whereas here on 11.3, you're going to have details about your current coverage you're going to be able to start a repair right from that support page as well so it gives you more information it doesn't require the user to do as much legwork to take action and get support and speaking of support there's going to be or at least there are indications that apple is working on a support app for the mac now currently this support app is ios and ipad os only i side loaded this app it doesn't actually run but it's likely that mac users will also be getting their own support app which of course allows you to do all sorts of things like run diagnostics and initiate repairs for instance now there's also a new icon when using the feedback assistant uh, so notice what I said earlier that the HomePod mini glyphs were wrong. So it's showing the, the old HomePod or the original HomePod glyphs for this stereo pair. Uh, so I'm going to submit that as sort of a bug report here. So I took a screenshot there. Now I'm going to unpair those two devices and I'm going to take a screenshot of the unpaired view and you'll see that they're actually HomePod mini devices. So let's go ahead and do that now. Go up to control center, sound and there they are so there's the two homepod minis notice the correct glyph is there when they are unpaired so what i'm going to do take a screenshot of that and then i'm going to submit this bug report and say hey fix that glyph please apple would you mind i just want to go ahead and fill all that information out but the point is you get a pretty new icon look at that little glyph Looks so happy to submit that bug report. So ladies and gents, tell me what you think about macOS 11.3. If you appreciate this video, please leave me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.